Let's make a dried flower cloche. Dried flowers are the best way to add that pop of color to your home during the winter, and I'm going to show you a fun way to display them that will last for months to come. You'll want to use a variety of flowers to create dimension. Think about different shapes, textures, and colors. Having a mix of filler and statement flowers is the best way to get balance. You'll need a glass cloche. I found mine at Ikea, but you can also check Michael's or Amazon. You'll also need a metal frog pin. If you've never worked with a frog pin before, they are extra sharp, so please be careful. Scissors are also handy, and any basic pair will work. Start by creating a base with a filler flower or moss. This will not only cover your frog pin, but it will also help your flower stick into the pin a bit better. Cover the sides of the pin as well as on top. I used two colors of the same flower to create my base. It's an easy way to add as much color as possible to your cloche, so don't be afraid to mix it up at this part. Even though you're going to be covering over some of it, it will still be visible. Continue adding flowers until the base is no longer visible. Now it's time to add volume. I used my flowers that had a thicker base and leaf to fill out the cloche. When adding your highest stems, it's a good idea to add the dome on top to see if it fits. Make any height adjustments to your stem now before continuing to add more flowers. When you have your initial base set, you can start weaving in those statement flowers and the ones with the thinner stems. They'll hold in the frog much better now since they have some support. When building your display, keep in mind that you'll be able to see it from all angles. So walk around your base and look at it from different heights as you work so you don't miss any spots. Once you think your design is all set, it's time to grab your dome and then make those last minute tweaks. So will the dome fit over the current setup that you have? Did you miss any holes? I had to take out a few stems from mine um, just to make sure that everything fit under the glass dome. I was able to use one hand to gather the flowers and the other to put the glass dome on top. And that's basically the project. I actually went in and made a second smaller piece and followed the same format and covered it with the dome so that they would go together as a side-by-side -side set. I love how colorful these turned out. It's such a great alternative than having to buy fresh flowers every week. Um, I really hope that you give this project a try. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'm always happy to help. Please like and subscribe and I will see you again soon.